Hi guys, welcome to your argumentative essay. This is your embedded assessment number two for unit two. Please make sure you're on page 161. Your assignment is to write an argumentative essay that states and supports a claim about an issue of importance to you. So I really want you to think about a topic that you're passionate about. I'm going to pause the video now. Please tell your shoulder partner about a topic that is controversial that you are passionate about. <clears> okay. <throat> Planning and pre-writing. Take time to make a plan for generating ideas and research questions. Please read this with your shoulder partner now. I'm going to pause the video. Okay. Researching. You need to, while you're researching, make sure that it is a viable source, something that is credible. We've talked about this before. Make sure you're not getting this off wikipedia.com. Make sure that you're addressing the counterclaim as well. Please read this with your shoulder partner now. Okay, drafting. Write an argumentative essay that is appropriate for your task, purpose, and audience. Please read over drafting with your shoulder partner now. Okay. Evaluating and revising your draft. Make sure you are looking at evaluating and revising. Don't just turn it in. Especially the rough draft, you'll see all my comments on turnitin.com. You need to edit those before turning in your final draft. Please read evaluating and revising the draft with your shoulder partner now. Okay, last piece. <clears throat> Checking and editing for publication. Please read this with your shoulder partner now. All right. You have used and been introduced to a number of strategies for constructing a well-reasoned and researched argumentative essay. Which strategies were most effective in helping you to write an effective argument and how did you use them? So what do you think would persuade somebody the most when you're trying to convince them of your topic? Remember, you have to be using ethos, logos, and pathos. Repetition is a good strategy as well as parallelism, so try to use those. Look at your rubric, so flip the page. We're on page 162 now. Exemplary is the A column. That's the one you want to be shooting for. Proficient B, emerging C or D, incomplete is an F. Make sure you are reading the exemplary column all the way through. So, for example, for ideas, the argument skillfully presents a claim and provides appropriate background and a clear explanation of the issue. So we've talked about how you want to start with your hook, then you want to have your connecting sentence, then a clear claim. You also want to provide background information in the introduction or in the body of the essay as well. You need to support your claim with logical, convincing reasoning and evidence, so make sure you're finding evidence online or evidence from the articles that would support your claim. Use rhetorical devices. So that means you're using ethos, pathos, logos. You can use um, repetition or parallelism. Make sure you're using those. Summarize and refutes counterclaims. So you're summarizing like, I know you think blah, but blah, with relevant reasoning and clear evidence. Structure. It needs to follow a clear structure with a logical progression of ideas that establishes relationships between the essential elements of the argument. It also needs to link main points with effective transitions that establish coherence. Please share with your shoulder partner now an effective transition. Okay, use of language, use precise diction or word choice, we've talked about diction before, deliberately chosen to inform or to explain the topic, Use a variety of sentence structures to enhance the explanation. So when it says a variety of sentence structures, you want to use a short sentence, medium sentence, long sentence. Last one, make sure you have correct grammar throughout. So I will give you comments on your paper as well. So you are going to type the paper. Make sure you're looking at the rubric as you're typing. You have ethos, logos, pathos. You're following the correct format. Um, on the board, it does show that you have your hook, your linking sentence, your claim, then your body paragraphs, you have your evidence, make sure that it is um, logical, coherent evidence with transitions before, and you're backing it up with power verbs, like this quote shows or this quote portrays, so get out your power verb list, 
you're going to type this essay. It's due um, Friday by midnight on Trinidad.com. So your assignment is to write an argumentative essay that states and supports a claim about an issue of importance to you. Ready, set, go.